Oh, simple syrups. <laughs> that good sticky. That nice, sweet, hot load of nectar for cocktail enhancement. Get your mind out of the gutter. What's up, everybody? It's Mike. Today, I'm gonna learn it, y'all, because some of y'all dumb. <laughs> Some of y'all don't understand the concept of making cocktails and that's fine, that's why I'm here. What's acceptable, what's not acceptable, what will enhance your cocktails opposed to what might ruin them. You've seen me scream online about this topic many times, reacting to YouTube bartenders across the board. So today I decided not to only explain to you what simple syrup is, but show you how to make it. Which is funny because I've never made simple syrup before. <laughs> this is gonna be a first time for both of us. But how hard could it be? It's basically water and sugar that you boil and then let cool or steep and then, oh my God, cocktail come. And there are a ton of different flavors of simple syrups that could be essential to any home bar. So today we're gonna make basic simple syrup and a few different kinds that I personally like, that I personally enjoy and use a lot. Basic simple syrup, grenadine, ginger simple syrup, and jalapeno simple syrup. Like I said, there are a wide variety that you can make. You can find them anywhere on the internet. These are just my favorite that I've made over the years, either at home or working at a bar or bartending for celebrities. These have been my personal favorite, and I've got the best reaction from my clients over the past decade. I'm gonna show you how to make them, what's in them, and then recommend some cocktails that they go with. And if you would like to learn how to make different flavors simple syrups, be sure to like this video and let me know in the comments below. Let me know what flavors you're interested in and maybe I'll make them in a future video. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm a globally disgraced celebrity bartender trying to make the world better one cocktail at a time. Okay, so sticky stuff. Normally, I love sticky stuff. The more the merrier, right girls and gays? But too much sticky stuff can ruin a cocktail because it's literally straight sugar. <laughs> Let's take just basic simple syrup. This shit right here. The only thing different from this and what we're about to be making is this has sulfates, but it is so easy to overpower a cocktail with simple syrup. So remember, most of the time you only need a little bit. You can always add more, but once you've added too much, it's ruined. And if you're already using sweet alcohol or overly sweet mixers, you probably won't need this at all. Why? Because this is just sugar and sweet mixers already have Sugar. Like sweet and sour mix is literally just lemon juice and simple syrup. It's literally more concentrated lemonade. So why would you add more simple syrup? Make it make sense. But I wanna break it down. I wanna make my own simple syrup without the sulfate. So what you're gonna do is get a hot plate. I went out of my way and I bought a fucking hot plate. You could use a stove, but I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> so I bought a hot plate so you could follow along better. Look at this effort. Look at this dedication. Maybe I shouldn't hit the hot plate. And I've never used this before, so I'm gonna figure this out for the first time. On. I don't know if anything's happening. And then I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna put it on high. I should probably get a pot, no? I got a pot and a spoon. Oh, you're doing great. Then you're literally gonna just need two things. You're gonna add in one cup of water. Let that boil. Is this getting hot? Is anything happening? Is anything happening? I don't know if anything is happening. It seems hot. I feel the heat. You ever put your hand over your crotch on like a warm summer day? It's kind of what it feels like. Oh, it's getting hotter. Okay, it's smoking. It's on. It's starting to bubble. Okay, we're good. Next, we need a cup of sugar. Measure out a whole cup of sugar. Okay, lower the heat because I think it's too hot. <laughs> then pour in the sugar. Okay, once you pour it in the sugar, make sure you put it on low heat because this got hotter than I thought it was gonna get. And be sure to stir it so that none of the sugar burns on the bottom, I think. I think that's what you do, I don't know. And you're gonna wanna stir this and let this steep or simmer for like 15, 20 minutes tops. Oh my God, science. Now this is a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning one cup water, one cup sugar. Now there are different types of ratios for different types of simple syrups, but we're not doing that today because it's annoying. This is just sugar water. It's easy and basic, just like most of you that are gonna make it. Looking at myself in the viewfinder. <laughs> There's gum syrup, demerara, demerara, demerara sugar, I don't know, stuff like that. This is just basic simple syrup. Bam. And once this chills out, you funnel it into a jar, a dispenser, a Tupperware, whatever you want, and then you let it chill for a few hours or overnight is easier. Or you can buy it for like $2. This was like, this was like $2. I feel the need to say that. It's cheap and easy. It just has extra shit in it that you don't necessarily need. So if you want to make it and be fancy, that's, that's simple syrup. If you want to be able to say all your ingredients are fresh and homemade, here you go, you try hard motherfuckers. Look how, oh, look how sexy that is. Clear sticky fluid that you can enjoy and won't get you pregnant. These are great for mojitos, lemon drops, daiquiris, and even margaritas if you're fucking lazy. I don't recommend it, but I know some of y'all fucking doing it. Let's move on. Now let's talk about grenadine, the bane of my existence sometimes. Especially when I see you guys use too much of it because it is essentially what? 
Straight sugar. <laughs> Technically with a pomegranate flavor. Grenadine literally comes from the French word for pomegranate, I believe. So when I see people do those rainbow shots and one of them is purely red from the grenadine and y'all are like, oh my God, it's so good. It's sugar. You paid $10 for a shot of sugar. That feel good? Now normally I know the grenadine you're used to is that overly bright red grenadine that you can wet buy in the store. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna step my pussy up. Today we're gonna make our own basic form of grenadine. And I say basic because it's missing steps that other bartenders on here like Anders Ericsson, the educated bartender, and other online bartenders are going to tell you to use like pomegranate molasses, other kinds of fancy waters. Bitch, we're using pomegranate juice and sugar. That's it. That's all we're, we're trying, we're being basic. Basic, cheap, essential. I'm not one that gets too fancy, okay? I started working in bars that used to get shut down for roach infestations, and then moved on to bars where people would have sex in the bathroom stalls, and then moved on to bars managed by Lindsay Lohan. It got worse and worse. The educated bartender even made one where he ground up pomegranate. Y'all doing, <laughs> Y'all doing too much. I mean, it's probably amazing and super tasty, but I just want a fucking cocktail. <laughs> so in this pan, you're literally gonna boil, now stay with me, one cup of unsweetened pomegranate juice that I hope has not expired, oh no, along with one cup of sugar, just like the simple syrup. The only thing different is that we're using pomegranate juice instead of water. It is the same one-to-one -one ratio. You wanna add in molasses and that fancy rose water shit? Go ahead. Every time I make a video, every time the garbage truck drives by, and I think that is a sign. I think the universe is calling me trash. So we're gonna wait for the pomegranate juice to get warmed up, and then you're gonna go in and pour in a cup of sugar, lightly give that a mix, and you wanna mix it until it's fully dissolved. I mean, it would've been nice to go above and beyond and get that fancy molasses or orange rose water, but I bought a hot plate, okay? I'm already impressed with myself. Stir, stir, stir. Oh, it's bubbly. Cocktails I recommend grenadine for is tequila sunrises, of course, cherry bombs, Malibu sunset. the list goes on. Now I'm gonna pour this out and let it cool on the side and I will come back to it in the end to show you what it looks like. Basic grenadine, you skanks. Now let's get, oh my God. Stop. Now let's get a little more sexy. Let's spread our legs a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you over here until it's cool. The next simple syrup we're gonna make is ginger simple syrup. Now this could be annoying, but don't go too crazy with it because we're sure as hell not. This is basic simple syrup. So in order to stay basic, I'm gonna stay with a one, one, one ratio. One cup of water, one cup of sugar, one cup of ginger. So I got ginger. See, ginger, a budget. What I'm gonna do is measure out about a cup of ginger and then I'm gonna juice it which in my opinion is the easiest way. Also because I have a juicer and not an extra fine strainer like a cheesecloth. If you have a cheesecloth or something similar to a strainer, you could then just blend the sugar and add it in and then once it's done, squeeze it through the cheesecloth. I don't have that, okay, shut up. We use what we have. So I'll be right back because I'm gonna go juice this bitch. Okay, so once again in the hot plate, one cup of water. Measure out a cup of sugar. Are you noticing a pattern here? Once it starts to warm up, add in your cup of sugar. Give that bad boy a stir. And then after measuring out a cup of ginger, once you juice it, pour that in as well for this method. And you stir it, you stir it, just keep on stirring it. <laughs> Remember, you wanna keep it on a low heat for like 15 to 20 minutes for each one. I know this video is a condensed version, but in real time, this video is taking a long ass time. <laughs> and then the rest of the ginger, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Maybe I'll make candy ginger for like a garnish video. Let me know if that's something you would like to see in the comments. And then once this is done, once again, I'm gonna transfer it into a Tupperware and let it cool. And then I will bring it back for the final product at the end. Ginger syrup is a great additive to any bar. A cocktail it greatly enhances, in my opinion, is Moscow Mules. I also like to use it in my hangover cures, which is literally just ginger simple syrup, lime juice, and soda water would pick me right the fuck up because ginger is good for you in ways I don't exactly know. But I know it's good for you. Oh my God, it's, it's gonna, oh Jesus, it's, <laughs> it's boiling up pretty hot. I don't gotta know exactly what it does. It does good things. It's anti-inflammatory and some shit. Oh, and it smells so good. <laughs> it like clears your sinuses right up. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool and I will be right back. Now it's time for jalapeno. This shit is great for cocktails and fighting your enemies. Squirt this right in their eye and it burns like gonorrhea. And this is just as easy as the other ones and the sweet and spicy mixture is great to elevate your cocktails. Can you guess? Guess what we're gonna need? One cup of H2O. Oh my God, I wonder what we're adding next. One cup of 
sugar. Pour that bad boy right on in there. Let this stir up for a hot sec. Watch time, watch time, watch time. And then once it's mixed up nice and good, I got about a third cup of jalapenos. And you wanna make sure that you include the seeds because the seeds are where the spice is, if you didn't know that. See, we learn things on this channel sometimes. Mix that bad boy up. Again, you wanna let it steep or hang out on low heat for like 15 to 20 minutes. I've been doing this for almost an hour and a half. And then once this is done chilling, I'm gonna strain it out into a Tupperware to do what? Oh my God, cool. I think jalapeno simple syrup might be my favorite, but then again, I like things spicy. And one thing this is great for is adding a little spice to your cocktail. It's great for a spicy margarita possibly, a spicy lemonade vodka is bomb. Or you know what? I used to make these cocktails that had spicy jalapeno syrup, tequila, and watermelon juice. That was fire with tahini on the rim. I highly recommend it. I think you'll love it. Okay, now I got this mug and I'm gonna pour this over the street. Ah! Son of a. Oh, carefully do it. Oh, God, it's on my lap. Fine, carefully fucking pour it over. God damn it, just buy the shit. Ah! Mm. Put it in the fridge to cool. And then you're done with the hot plate. You're done with it. I don't know who let me use this damn thing without supervision. So now let's take a quick break and I will be back once the simple syrups are all done cooling. Okay, it's been a few hours. And my simple syrups are done. Look at them. Look at them. I know we made four, but I don't think you need to see the basic one. It's regular simple syrup. These are the flavors. These are what I'm excited about. The grenadine one is dark and rich. And then we have our ginger syrup. And then finally, the jalapeno syrup. I'm so excited to be adding these to my at-home bar. And now you all can as well. If you found this video informative, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos, I put them out weekly. Feel free to let me know any bar essential or cocktail essential videos you would like to see me make in the future. And if that's all, my name is Mike from GTV and you are fucking welcome.